Good morning, everyone. Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to our service of worship. Today is a super special day in the life of the church. Generally speaking, we have two Sundays out of the year where the pastors do not preach. They are um, the Sunday before the 4th of July, which is our patriotic service, and also Youth Sunday, where our senior highs um, get to give their um, final testimony. Not final testimony, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> Before going off to college, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, change that for the next service. Um, anyway, um, we have had children's Sabbath for many years in the church, but we don't usually have the children actually lead um, the service during the sermon time. But this year, we're going to do something a little, little creative, and um, we're going to have the children uh, lead us and teach us. And, you know, Jesus tells us that unless we have the faith of a child, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. And so I think we're going to um, learn a lot by seeing worship through a child's eyes. So I'm really looking forward to today's service. Um, but while I'm here, I wanted to tell you about one um, important announcement. Um, the General Conference of the United Methodist Church begins this Tuesday in Charlotte, just a few hours down Highway 74. Um, this is an international gathering that takes place every four years, but did not take place in 2020 because of the COVID pandemic. And so we have 862 delegates from all over the world convening in Charlotte to talk about issues that are important to the United Methodist Church. Um, I'm actually an alternate delegate, which means I'll be sitting the bench until somebody gives me the tired sign, and then I'll move in, and, um, and if somebody gets uh, tired or sick or has some type of emergency, then I'll jump in and I'll, I'll help with the voting. Um, but it's, uh, it's an exciting couple of weeks, um, so I know that you're going to want to um, continue to pray for the General Conference of the United Methodist Church. And with that, I'd like to turn things over to my good friend, Dagny Gilbert, who is going to lead us in worship. Thanks, Dagny. Good morning. My name is Dagny Gilbert. I'm 11 years old, a fifth grader at Audrey Elementary, and a member of the Faithful Fifth Bible Study. I hope you leaders get some sleep Thursday night because you're not getting sleep Friday night. God's Girls Lock-In, Friday, April 26th, from 7 a.m. to Saturday at 8 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Save the date for a pig picking. At first, I thought we were picking pigs, but after reading this, I was wrong, which never happens. <laughs> On Sunday, April 28th, from 4.30 to 6.30 at the Healy property, bring the whole family, a side dish to share, and chairs or blankets. Tideline string band will be playing blue bluegrass. I wish we were picking pigs. I'd pick the pink one. <laughs> Raise your hand if you hate pollution. Don't be scared. Raise your hand. I see you, Julia. <laughs> Take part in our shred event. Wrightsville UMC is sponsoring a free shred event on Wednesday, May 1st from 9 to 11 a.m. at the church. You can dispose of documents in a safe and environment-friendly way. Calling members of the 30s, the 50 Club, you are invited to join in our stirred, not shaken adult social on Thursday, May 2nd from 6 15 to 8.15 at Axes and Allies. Bring an appetizer to share, and don't forget to book those scissors. Sitters, RSVP information can be found in your bulletin insert. With all those good appetizers, I wish I could be there. <laughs> Lastly, empty nesters and friends, join us for Cinco de Bruncho on Sunday, May 5th at 12.30 at Flying Machine Oyster Bar at the Landing at Wrightsville Beach. It's located at the under, other end of Surf City Shop next door. RSVP Donna Pickney. Thanks for being here and your attention. Now sit back, relax, and witness God through children.
Good morning. I am Sloan Turner, and I am in the second grade. We are so happy to see you all here in worship today. We, now that we all heard the tune of hymn of promise from our children's choir, let's stand together and sing all three verses. The words are in, and the words are printed in your bulletin insert. Maybe see it. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Parker and I'm in the, and I'm in the fifth grade. We are very excited to teach you all about the fruit of the spirit as we worship together on this beautiful Sabbath day. The children of joy at Wrightsville UMC have spent a lot of time throughout the year learning about the nine fruits. They are qualities that make us more like Jesus and help us to reflect his love to others. I'd now like to introduce you to our Fruit of the Spirit cast as we, as they teach us a little bit more about each of the fruits. Love. Do everything in love. Joy. May the, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you Trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. Peace. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Matthew 5, 9. Patience. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans 12, 12. Kindness. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4.32. Goodness. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Faithfulness. For we live by faith, not by sight. Gentleness. 
A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stores up anger. Self-control. Like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self-control. Proverbs 25 through 28. and join me in saying the children's affirmation of faith found in your bulletin. We believe in God who loves us and wants us to love each other. This is our God. We believe in Jesus who cared about children and held them in his arms. He wanted a world where everyone could live together in peace. This is Jesus Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit who keeps working with us until everything is good and true. This is the Holy Spirit. We can be the church which reminds us because we love each other. This we believe. Amen. I'm in the third grade. I am a member of the Wrightsville UMC Children's Choir. Today, we will be sharing with you a song that you have probably heard and even sung a thousand times, but you may not know what it is or why we sing it. This song is called Gloria Potri, which means glory be to the Father. We sing Gloria Potri as a song of praise to God and a reminder that all our ultimate purpose as Christians is to glorify God and enjoy his blessings forever. We hope that you will take this opportunity to hear these words as the children's choir sings this familiar song and reflects on the love we all share for our awesome God. morning. We hope you're enjoying worship so far. Please take a minute and greet those around you with the peace of Christ. Psalm 90, 92, verses 12 through 15 this morning. The righteous, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord's upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. The word of God for the people of God.
please bow your heads and join me in the morning prayer. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath day and for our beautiful church family. Thank you for giving us comfortable homes, plenty of good food to eat, and water to drink. We pray that you help us to take good care of the earth which you have given us. We also pray for the leaders of our community and the world, that they will make decisions that honor and take care of your gifts to us. We pray for those on our prayer list and for those we lift up now in our hearts. These things we ask in the name of your Son, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us all our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It is now time it is now time for our ushers to come forward to collect our offering but before they do so we wanted to let you know that we are using noisy buckets today to collect the offering these buckets were a part of Oleander UMC's work, worship services they would use them occasionally for special services such as today we are grateful to Oleander for these new traditions we encourage you to give the heart with the we encourage you to give from the heart with joy and gratitude. May we be faithful stewards of all God has blessed us with. Ushers, please come forward to collect our offering. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. In his hands he's got the whole world. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mamas and the papas. In his hands he's got the mamas and the papas. In his hands he's got the mamas and the papas. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the little bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the little bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the preacher and the deacon. In his hands, he's got the preacher and the deacon. In his hands, he's got the preacher and the deacon. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody in his hands he's got everybody in his hands he's got everybody in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands children up for children's sermon.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name's Claire. And my name is Jenny. Today we'll be talking about the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, patience kindness, generosity, faithfulness, <coughs> gentleness, and self-control. What's your favorite fruit? Apples. Ooh, I like apples. Strawberries. Strawberries are good, too. Ooh, I love oranges. Ooh, yum. Pineapple. Watermelon, pineapple, those are all good fruits. But my favorite fruit is the fruit of the spirit. <laughs> Today we'll be we will be reading we will be listening to a poem about the fruit of the Spirit. While I am reading, do the actions that I do. Love, joy, peace are words to show you care. So give a hug, laugh out loud, and say a quiet prayer. Patience, kindness, and generosity remind us what to do. Wait for our turn, act with love, and share with others too. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control are three big words to know. So trust our great God, use kind words, and choose right as we grow. We will, to close children's sermon, we will be doing a repeat after me prayer. <coughs> dear God, dear God, thank you, thank, thank you, you for the joy we feel, for the joy we feel when we remember. When we remember that Jesus is alive. That Jesus is alive. Amen. Amen. You can go back to your seats now. I am Smith McNamara, and I am in the fifth grade. Today, I will be reading the scripture lesson, Galatians 5, 22 through 23, the New International Version. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. We have a wonderful, wonderful group of fifth graders this year, and they have been rehearsing a skit for you today. I now invite our faithful fifth cast to come forward for the Fruit of the Spirit performance. We hope you will enjoy the play. Welcome to our performance about the Fruit of the Spirit. Today we are going to share with you some of the nine fruits of the Spirit, and we're going to start with... Oh, that's great, because I'm hungry. What kind of fruit do you have? Hey, do you have coconuts? I just love coconuts. Or how about watermelon? No, 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 you've got it all wrong. We're talking about the Fruit of the Spirit, not the fruit you eat. What? I'm confused, but you said fruit. Listen, if you'll just have a seat and let us share... We'll tell you all about it, because the fruit of the spirit isn't a coconut or watermelon, it's a fruit that grows inside of you. Hey, I've swallowed watermelon seeds before, so that mean it'll grow on me? If you will just have a seat, please, and listen, I think you'll understand. When we become Christians, God plants a seed in us to help us live lives that please him, and show his love to those who don't know God. For example, love. It's easy to love our family members or our friends, but how hard is it to love someone who isn't, well, the most lovable? kid from last week. He's, she's so mean. Let's go somewhere else before she sees us. Wait, I've got an idea. Let's try something different. Like what? Well, let's ask her to play ball with us. Are you kidding me? Do you remember last week? She took our ball and knocked it off our heads. If you're going to do that, you might as well just give her the ball. She's going to take it anyway. Have you ever heard the saying, killing them with kindness? My mom says it means you squash out anger and meanness with showing acts of kindness. Let's try it. Okay. We no 
know, we all know it doesn't, it doesn't always work out that way. But how will we ever know or how will others ever see God working in us unless we try? Peace is another fruit of the Spirit. It's important we find peace from God in our situations in life and also make and keep peace with each other. No, she keeps changing the rules while we're playing. No, I don't. You're not following the rules. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you two the best of friends? Yes. yes. Don't you like playing together? Well, well yes. yes. It doesn't sound like it when you're both yelling at each other. It is okay to disagree, but sometimes you can agree to disagree. <coughs> Let's agree she's cheating. No, no, no. Let's agree you're not following the rules. Well, if we can't agree to settle this, how about we move and play somewhere else? Like what? Yeah, like what? How about something without rules right now, like playing on the jungle gym? Okay, last one to the jungle gym is a rotten egg. No, first one to the jungle gym is. <laughs> can't blame someone for trying. <laughs> As you can see, there are nine fruits of the Spirit, and each of those fruits take time and effort to grow inside of us. But when we see someone with good fruit like that, they know that that person has a close walk with God. You may also be planting the seed in others so that they can grow their relationship with Him. Now I'm starting to get it, but I'll be honest, it's still making me hungry. Well, now see, as Christians, we should be hungry for growing the fruit of the Spirit. Let's see what other fruits we can grow. We don't need to know the person to show kindness. Okay, so now I know how to grow the fruit of the Spirit inside of me. It starts by showing others with my words and actions. Speaking of actions, I like how this message is making me feel. How about one more song, and then we c and then can we go and get something to eat? Sounds, sounds like a plan, but let's use some special moves to remind us of the spiritual fruit we need to grow. We would now like to invite any children of joy who have learned our Fruits of the Spirit song with Miss Courtney in Sunday School or Joyful for Jesus up to the front to sing. Thank you for worshiping with us today. 
We hope you have enjoyed the service. Please stand and join us in our closing hymn, Halle, Halle, Hallelujah, found in your bulletin insert. As you go into this week, we hope you feel renewed and inspired to embody these fruits of the Spirit in your daily life. Please repeat after us as we say the each sign, each, each, as we say, and sign each fruit. Love. Love. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Faithfulness. Patience, sorry. Kindness. Kindness. Goodness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Gentleness. Self control. Self-control. 